And now, set your eyes on the future, and let's consider what really happened. And aloha, America. Welcome back to the show. We're talking about Ron Paul's call for an audit of U.S. gold reserves. And the reason this is important is because back in October of 2009, there was a scandal where gold bars that were working through the various gold brokerages of Europe and various international banks bearing the stamp marks from Fort Knox were found to be fakes. They were actually made out of tungsten, which is very, very close to gold in terms of its density and mass, um, uh, although obviously much harder. Uh, and these tungsten bars were then uh, covered in a very thin layer of gold and made to look exactly like the real gold bars in Fort Knox. And this story kind of came and went. Uh, it was definitely all over the media in the rest of the world. It was hardly mentioned in the United States. I think CNBC covered it briefly to sort of poo-poo and ridicule the whole thing. Now, what may be going on is, back in the 1960s, the Federal Reserve, uh, right after the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, our silver coinage was removed from circulation and replaced with these, uh, these clad slugs we're using today that are pretty much worthless. It took control of the value of the money out of the hands of the people and it put it in the hands of the Federal Reserve. And the theory was that as long as people believed that these coins were still worth five cents, ten cents, twenty-five cents, what have you, that uh, you know that everything would go on working. And actually, for a while, it did. But the bottom line is, these little tokens of of value were not really worth their face value anymore. They were symbolic only. Well, what may have happened as our economy got into some serious uh, problems or somebody decided they just wanted to have the gold, is they decided we can do the same thing down at Fort Knox. We can make up uh, clad gold bars and make them look just like the real ones, and as long as people continue to believe, everything will be just fine. Because after all, you know, you don't actually take apart your coins in your change, and you, know, you don't actually take apart a gold bullion bar that is going around for investment purposes. Actually, however, somebody in Europe was doing a check assay on the bars, which involved basically drilling into the bar and taking a very, very tiny sample of the gold and making sure that it really is 24 karat gold. Because fraud is not uncommon in the world's bullion markets. They don't want you to know that, but it isn't. And the assayer in Europe drilled into one of these Fort Knox bars and hit tungsten, broke his drill bit. And it was a big, huge scandal, and a couple of other people, there were even some videos on YouTube where some of these gold experts in Europe were showing these bars cut in half with the tungsten inside. And so here's, here's the reality. Uh, you know, if, if the gold bars that are in Fa Fort Knox are fakes, you know, if a quarter of them are fake or half of them are fake or even worse, almost all of them are fake, there are two questions there. I mean, first of all, where did all that money go? Where did all that gold go? Is the entire U.S. economy based on a fraudulent claim to the possession of real, tangible wealth that simply doesn't exist? I mean, there have been a lot of scandals of gold trading because if, when you go out and you invest in gold and you don't actually want to have physical possession of the metal in your home because of thieves and burglary, which is running rampant now as police departments have to cut back their, their uh, officers because of the budgets, you get a paper certificate. But that paper certificate for your gold is really no more legit than the Federal Reserve note. And there have been several scandals where gold brokerages are selling more of the certificates than they actually have gold on hand for, basically running a reserve system of banking on the theory that people aren't going to all come in at the same time and trade their certificates in for the actual physical gold. Frankly, if I were you, I would do that immediately if you are holding a gold certificate of deposit, go in, get the gold yourself. Hide it under your mattress, hide it in your backyard, get a safety deposit box, although in, an, uh, in a declared economic emergency, the government has already said it's legal for them to go in and take any valuables from safety deposit boxes as well. So I don't know about that. But the bottom line is, Ron Paul is correct to ask for an audit of the U.S. gold reserves because the, that gold, the wealth of that gold, is what the entire U.S. economy, in theory, rests on. And we need to know if somebody has, I mean, <laughs> you know, right out of James Bond, somebody has ripped off Fort Knox. And it's probably somebody inside the government in a position to actually do so. 
Uh, probably, in fact, I'm, I'm going to go out here and speculate a little bit, and I'm going to say this is, in fact, speculation. But gold bullion is routinely being transferred from Fort Knox to the various Federal Reserve centers, especially the one in New York. Well, there's an ideal opportunity for somebody to be doing some swapping. And we got to find out. Now, I did put up the article about the fake gold bars at whatreallyhappened.com. I'm going to put up some more of those same articles. But all you need to do is do fake gold bars, Fort Knox, into any search engine. I recommend Bing or Start Page. And you will find this was big news all over the rest of the world. You weren't told. You're being told about Lindsay Lohan is getting into and out of rehab again. Doesn't that make you feel like you're fully informed here? So good for Ron Paul. I don't think it's going to happen because if the people are behind the fraud with the gold bars that I think are there, uh, they're never going to allow it. Remember when Ron Paul just wanted an audit of the Federal Reserve to find out who was getting all the bailout money, and that was basically voted out of existence. So...